Hello fans and trolls, and welcome to Cash Valley and the Spinning Top Finals. Romney Olsen, alongside special guest John Madden, anticipating a close competition tonight. Thank you, Romney, and so happy to be here tonight for the Spinning Top Finals 2014. Now before we introduce our finalists, we need to explain a few things, Romney. Uh, one, this three-round competition may be complicated for many Americans to understand, so let me put it in layman's terms for you. The top that spins the longest should be sitting pretty to score all the touchdowns. You know that's right, John, we're not playing football, but the top that spins the longest will have the longest spin time and therefore be classified as the winner. I totally agree. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that if the top that spins the longest doesn't win each round, the judges ought to be taken out behind the building and horse-whipped. You know, that's going pretty far, John, but I think you're on to something. Let's take a look at what it took to get the finalists here tonight. So here's the three of them together. They were printed at the same time on the Zortrax M200 3D printer. Now just to give you an idea, these tops were printed in high quality ZABS plastic developed in Poland. And though they don't have football, their products are top notch. That's right. The precision of layer thickness here is 0.19 millimeters, and these puppies print with no support. They take just under three hours to print and come off the table like a charm. They've lost some weight in order to qualify for the finals, and each top weighs in at just 7 grams. Thank you, Biggest Loser. Wyatt opens up the competition, and takes the floor for his first spin. And he's off, to what appears to be a rocky start, John. You know, spinning's a difficult sport. I've tried it once. There's got to be enough spin in the beginning to keep that top going. Wyatt's slowing down, and uh, looks like we'll come to a complete stop at 13.6 seconds. Let's take a look at the replay. Now, one thing's for sure, this guy would not get a traffic ticket. He's parked like a dog on a fire hydrant. That was pretty bad. Green is up next, and confidently takes the stage for his first spin. He starts off with a solid rotation. Now, each one of these tops has been engineered to distribute weight on the outside in order to maximize centrifugal force. This creates added momentum and increases the time it can stay up. Looks good. Working Near for this guy. Nearing 15 seconds, and... Green's becoming quite unstable, and uh, topples to a finish of 18.3 seconds, putting him in the lead. Let's look at the finish. You'll notice Green was able to add time by incorporating a wobble into his routine. Right at the end there, he goes back and forth to put the most time on the clock. Classic. Let's see how Red compares. He starts with a solid spin, and basically stays in the same place. You know, it's obvious that martial arts has played a heavy role in Red's training, and staying in one place just shows he's in touch with his inner chi. Red's going strong, and that chi is really paying off for him now. Yeah, he's headed for the end zone. Looks like uh, he's going to pass 20 seconds and go in strong, but nope, we'll finish around 22.32. It seemed to me that everything went downhill after 20 seconds, John. I think we need to take some seconds off the clock. But you'll notice here that when the arms start to t make contact with the turf, it creates friction, and friction's known to slow things down. Now here are the standings for round one. White in third place, green in second, and red in first place by a comfortable four-second lead. That's right. White and green have their work cut out for them if they want to stay into this competition and make it to the playoffs. That's right. Round two begins with white and his second spin. We'll see if he can break his last time of the embarrassing 13.6 seconds. Well, I'm not feeling too confident. He looks like a freshman quarterback scrambling in the pocket. He doesn't know what he's doing out there. No, it doesn't look like he's very experienced. No, I'm beginning to wonder how White made it into this competition. Already stopped. Now he looks like obesity and tight leggings, if you know what I mean. Uh, if you mean he doesn't belong in this competition, John, I, I think I can agree. On a lighter note, White beats his last time, and I guess that's good news. The second spin did look cleaner than the first, that's for sure. Now Green is up for his second attempt and already has close to 10 seconds on the clock. As I was talking to Green before the competition, he mentioned that hula hooping plays an important part in his training routine. I can see that now as I watch him spin. Oh, Beautiful. I can see what you mean, John. That's a Polynesian polka if I've ever seen one. Green's trying to hold on, but it looks like he's brought to a halt at 24.28 seconds. You know, it's the hop strategy that gave Green the advantage, and the longest time we've seen so far. Yeah, I can see the hop there. Moving on to the final spin of round two. And Red starts out as smooth as Disney on ice. Romney, this is sheetrock, not ice. But speaking of Disney, the new game Disney Infinity 2.0 just came out in September. Hmm. I'm half tempted to start a game after the show today. Well, don't get too tempted, John. We've got a broadcast to do. Looks like Red will fight for the top time. Oh, he's going strong. He needs to beat Green's time of 24.28. Will he do it? Oh, no, he won't. 23.46 is all he gets. He was just hitting the ground too much there near the end. Kind of the same as Green. 
You know, green won that round, but red's still in the lead by more than three seconds. White remains an embarrassment to us all. Let's get the unpleasantries out of the way as we endure one last spin from the freshman quarterback. You know, I, I'm just not looking forward to this. It, it could be a pretty embarrassing you know, the white team. White has really been disappointing this match. You know, it's almost like watching the Cowboys at the Super Bowl. Oh, it's so hard to watch. Especially when they win. Oh, yeah. But I don't think that's going to happen. It's not in the cards. No, not in the cards for White either with a 13.55. You know, I could spin a bowling ball on water for longer than that. You know, I think you could, John. Tops like this shouldn't even be part of the competition. White's a sprinter, but he's just not built for long distance. And Green steps up for a final chance to knock Red out of the lead. Look at that. Yeah, that's a great spin, and it looks like Green just might have a chance. Yeah, if this were Monopoly, I'd say Green needs to roll on to Park Place and Boardwalk with this one. And not happening. Not happening. Green puts 19.32 on the board. Not his worst, but not his best either. The leaning there at the end really cost him. That's bad form right there. Bad form. Red only needs 16.13 seconds on his last spin to secure victory for this competition. Yeah, it all comes down to proper weight training and diet. This top has the optimal weight distribution on the outsides, creating additional centrifugal force for the win. He's going strong. Oh, he's going. It looks like... It's red! He sails past 16 seconds, like Christopher Columbus, and he can already taste that West Indies gold. That's a sweet victory for red. All the training and conditioning really paid off. What a finish! Here are the final stats from tonight's competition. Red wins it easily, followed by green, and what a spectacle it has been. On behalf of 3D ProShare, Little Caesars, and our entire crew, I wish you a good night from Cache Valley, Utah, and the Spinning Tops Finals 2014.